Should we do some new releases? Probably yeah. some real big ones this week. There's, there's, I've been playing some of these games. Good. What, where are we going to start at? Uh, I mean, you playing? How about Disney? The Disney game. I have not played it yet. I've downloaded it on several devices. <laughs> and oh, you made your guy. I, oh, oh, I, I've played this game. I see. What I do during the day is I work. <laughs> so like, so watch, not... I mean, Wombat's watching Elvis concerts and right. eating his fingers. <laughs> I did. Did I play it during the day tonight? I don't think I played this during. The, I played it last night, and I played it before we did a show tonight. How is it? Got it. It is. Yeah. I is it a game? What is this How thing? Dare you? Uh, no, I said you watched the Elvis concert during the day, and say so you played this during the day. Yeah, it is okay. I guess the best way to describe it is The Sims or an, or and or Animal Crossing. Mm-hmm. Probably more like Animal Crossing, uh, with Disney. So Sims, Animal Crossing, good. Disney, all in one game. Um, yeah, it's a little, there are more missions than there would be in, say, just a straight ahead Animal Crossing clone. You, you're a regular human being. You've been dropped into the Dreamlight Valley, which is apparently where all the Disney characters live. But the Disney, they've all lost their memory. So you have to clean up the town and rebuild it so everyone can remember who they are and get all the Disney characters back into... Why isn't this game advertised? I don't know. It's surprisingly good. It's very addictive in the way that Animal Crossing is. You know, Mm -hmm. you're not fighting anybody. There's no enemies. You're just doing stuff like, oh, it's me. I'm Remy the Rat. I need a bowl of chicken noodle soup. Can you make me that at your recipe table? And then I'm like, oh, I got to find the carrots and I got to find the onions and I got to. And then I go and I make him his soup. And he goes, oh, thank you so much. Now I could go and live in the village. And I built him his house and he has his house and his restaurant. And now he's there and everybody's so happy. And and Mickey is so happy that his friend Remy the Rat is back in town. It it sounds great. Um, Yeah. Like, yeah, my family's going to. Love, they're gonna they're gonna this. shit themselves while they play this. Game. Yeah, we. we did, I mean, <laughs> is that because it's so good, or because they're not gonna want to get up because it's so good, or both? It's it's literally both those things. Like oh I was God. playing it before we did the show, and I kept saying to myself, "Okay, I'm gonna play for like 15 minutes. I'll clean up my town." And the next thing I know, it was covered an hour. It was an hour shit. later. Yeah, covered in shit. So put back of the box quote I'm, right I'm there. For, I don't think there is a box. I don't think this is even retail, right? I think there is a, maybe a Switch retail version, but. Don't quote okay. me on it's that. It's so odd to me. Like I knew of this game, but it's because I just randomly got an email, like yeah, about it. It's it's on like, Game Pass, mm-hmm. so you already have it. I just and, feel like this should be like be, being like everybody should know about this. Yeah, and it's it's the thirty dollar version. The game comes in two prices, thirty and seventy. I don't see any reason why anyone would need the seventy dollar version. The thirty dollar version that you get with Game Pass actually does give you like some of that in-game currency too Mm. love that in-game currency (laughs) well i'm not saying you need it or want it but it's just interesting that the game pass version what is this (laughs) yeah oh my i don't even know i know that there was like there's a a game pass a battle pass whatever you want to call it a season pass Mm -hmm. sure they, they give you enough of the the coins to get the first one like it's a level lot left over I'm like, after I played too much of it, I'm like, fine, I'll invest in your stupid season pass and take one for the team here. So now they got me in their dumb uh-oh, season pass. Uh-oh, into the ecosystem. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to... I, I don't think I would ever spend any money on this game. Until... I say, I say now, no, I don't think so. Is this their, like, their spending, metaverse game? I'm definitely spending money on this game. I can tell you that. I yeah, feel like I this is their I, metaverse I see- experiment. Uh-huh. But it's it's a game loft game. It's a game loft game like the cell phone people, but I don't know if it's on phones. I know it's on PC and it's surprisingly good. I mean, there's a little bit of jank. Like I went into Merlin's house and I opened a chest and the little orb that flew out flew behind a piece of furniture by the wall. So I can't get it and I can't edit the furniture in his house. I blame so that I, on you. I think so that's I, probably your fault. And somehow it's probably my fault. So I can't yeah. get that one orb. My my the game is fine without it. I don't need it, but it's just annoying that I can't grab it. Mm. But uh yeah. The other problem I think I have with this game is there's probably definitely storage issues in the sense that you know I don't need to carry that many rocks. I don't want to carry all those rocks, 
but the rocks just stay on the ground. So when I run around, there are just like rocks everywhere that, that I've dropped, and picked up. Yeah, hmm. and they're just and they're literally everywhere. And it's like, well, maybe I just should stop breaking things. I'm like, I don't clean I don't up know. those a- rocks. Isn't there a, like a box you can put the rocks in or something? No, because your in-house storage is also limited. Oh man, what a jip! I know. Um, so- what if you paid them more money? I guarantee, yes, you can make your backpack bigger and that costs. <laughs> Ship knew the solution somehow. Yeah, it's money. So I'm like, mm, I'm just going to have rocks everywhere. But, uh, you know, you get Merlin, Goofy, Mickey to start things off with. Oh, and Uncle Scrooge. Those are your four starter guys in your village. So that's a good starter village, people. So if your kids are into those characters, they're going to be happy. Oh. I'll learn to be right, Chip. Yeah, yeah, they're they're fine with his characters, and you get to run around in dumb clothing, and you know, it's all it's everything you expect from Animal Crossing meets Disney. Did you make your character look like you? I like, tried. He's like so Chip skinny. did. Yeah, my as my son said, oh, he looks like you, but skinny. I'm like, thanks. You're you're a good kid. The art style is pretty good. Mm-hmm. Like for the for the characters, it's it's uh not exactly fortnite ish but it's somewhat in that vein a little bit of like it's cart- they, it's it's disney it's cartoony, cartoony kind of yeah. yeah like i don't know lankiness that mm-hmm. those characters have there's, like, there's definitely some, some yeah proportion thing that they got going on mm-hmm. no nope, i think they did a good job here i will continue to play it because i'm enjoying it and what else am i gonna do you know what am i gonna do work right chip right <laughs> Um, Dreamlight Valley is a b- much better place to be than work from home. You know what, Dreamlight Valley? I, if I could move there, I would. <laughs> Good. My house there is nicer than my house here. Uh, uh, I've been uh, playing uh, Onsen Master. Onsen. Onsen is what I call it. Onsen, onsen Master. You haven't been playing this, have you? You have to pay for this. Right. So no. Uh, well, they sent me a code for it. Well, so no. I have what to pay it? for this. What what is it? <laughs> so Onsen Master is. Um, oh, you told me what this is. You tell yeah, it's, else. it's thanks. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's overcooked, but you're running an Onsen. So you it, it's one that uh, Mrs. Shipwreck and I are, are playing through co-op. So you it's got normal people in it, but then it also it's. It's story hook is that there's yokai. Am I pronouncing that yeah, right? Yeah. The, the monsters, uh-huh. the traditional Japanese monsters. Uh-huh. Uh, they are also coming to the, to the hot springs. Yeah. Yeah. Just like that, um, that movie, uh, spirited away. Yeah. Yeah. So they're coming to the hot springs and you have to, they, they're the ones like kind of messing things up. Right. Like, so you have to be able to kind of battle, battle them at the same time, but you're battling them by like, they'll jump in one of the um, one of the springs and you have to like throw ingredients like or enchantments or whatever into there to like appease them uh, and make them go, go away or they'll like possess you. And then like your controls go all backwards or whatever Uh um, that type of thing. So it's cute. Um, We're having fun with it. It's $15. It's exactly what you, you think it is. Like if you've ever played overcooked or seen spirited away. Yeah. Cool. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's fun. I like that one. I like fun. Mm-hmm. I feel like there'd be yelling in your household with it, cheapy. Yeah. Probably not going to play that one just for the sake of the, the unique mechanic it has is that you pick stuff up with the triggers. Okay. And so uh, you can pick stuff up with, with like the right trigger with your right hand, left trigger with your, yeah. or, yeah, left trigger with your left hand. Um, and so you can hold multiple ingredients and you're guiding like the guests to the springs where they need to go. So uh-huh. you can you can multitask. have two of them. Yeah, you're multitasking through it. That's um, cool. So yeah, it's it's not just a direct ripoff of uh overcooked. It's got some uniqueness to it. Sounds good. And you learned how to say onsen. So it's I'll educational forget too. that in like 15 minutes. There's probably some but other Japanese words in there too. It's pronounced on sin. <laughs> you can't even pronounce If I think pronounce. hard enough about it, I can usually pronounce those, but yeah, it's, it's, I got to think about it right. before I, before I speak and that's not going to happen. No. What else we got uh, this week? Uh, Circus Electric 
electric electric electric yes I know how to pronounce French words. <laughs> Has anyone other than me given that a shot? I have. have. Oh, nice. That is a turn-based RPG, like a steampunk, eight, late a 19th century. It's steampunk. It's steampunk, to say steampunk. Yeah. yeah. British circus-themed turn-based RPG, which mm-hmm. is unique and different, and fun <laughs> um it's yeah it's from the makers of uh it's the zen people what was the name of that operancia right is it the same people mm-hmm. yes yeah it's the sure. operancia team i think mm-hmm. who made it and it's a pretty good game if you like turn-based rpgs that take place in steambunk victorian england with circus folk as your characters yeah and it's and it's a it's a more like it's not like an open world or you're not exploring type of RPG. It's a, you're going into direct battles against uh, other steampunk yeah. type robot creatures. There's a, um, there is a map that where you're choosing like, Oh, I'll need to go like left or right or whatever, mm-hmm. but uh, it's not, you're not walking. You're just choosing the next location on the map. Yeah. It's, it's got good mechanics. Um, the, it's definitely a type of game like you either know this is for you or it's not for you because it you have to be you have to do a little learning while you're playing right there's the tutorial is uh pretty extensive yeah there's there's a lot of learning there's a lot of this character this character does that and if you want to do this oh and you also have a circus and you have to set up shows in your circus and the characters in your shows in the circus you can't take with you when you go out to battles so make sure that the characters in your show in your circus are not the ones you want to use to battle with but the characters in your circus need to be able to draw a crowd so you can get the stuff so you can keep going to more battles with the people not in your circus did i get that right yeah, no, you you nailed it. You forgot about the sleeping cart too, though. That you yeah. also oh, yeah. you put people in there to regenerate their health, and you also cannot use them in the circus or the battles. And in the battles, you can swap people from where they're at and in, in line, and then where they're at in line depends on what skills they can use. And now there there are certain people that are here listening to this, and they're saying to themselves, "This is exactly what I'm looking for in a video game." Correct. And, and there are also people listening to this going, "Thank you for telling me." That that's what this game is all about right there's there's a lot because there's like there's at least six skills per each character and it depends on where they're standing in relation to other characters on who they can attack and it's it's in depth it's well done but it's uh there's you've got to invest some time into that one mm-hmm. i agree got it that's circus electric anything else no 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 